Hi, very good, everybody. To be honest, there's a lot of baloney about CB antennas, all right? I mean, there is... <laughs> they all do a job. And in the main, within a couple of dB, I can't see why one is going to be so blooming different to the other. Now that I've built, myself, hundreds of, of antennas, you know. And I think it's because in the CB world... <laughs> Um, you've only got the one frequency, you know, and we're comparing things like line of sight because on the one hand, we want to speak to Joe, our friend up the road, five miles away, line of sight. That's different to speaking to uh, Fred in Cyprus or, or whatever else because actually you need a bit of elevation, tiny bit of elevation. You know, we need five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten degrees off the horizon. They're two different mm, things. But anyway... That's a discussion for experience and, you know, build a couple of yourself, a couple of dipoles maybe and whatever else. But I was talking to Mike months ago about this antenna and it used to be called the CB, well, it's still called it actually, the CB antenna. I just it's called it a Starduster. And do you remember this one? It's this looking thing here. Basically what we got is a feed point at the bottom and then these three radials which which do that each one of these is a quarter of a wavelength long okay so if we're looking down on the top now that's the element coming straight up and then at 120 degrees we've got these things coming out now there is something right at the top here which to be honest just looks i can't quite see see those little things at the top oh, here we are there's a better picture of it what is that for i mean i've played i mean i just i don't know <laughs> means you can charge more means that people don't know i don't know what it is i don't know what it is no idea there's a really old one look starduster okay so i thought we'd build one and if we get enough um shut that down if we get enough interest there we are i'll physically build this because we do dx commander i've got an 80 meter pole so i could we could quite easily build this out of wire and put it at i don't know 16 meters off the ground it should be at that height it should be fantastic so i thought what we'd do i might come back to the book in a bit but what we could do is quickly model it all right and have a look now, there's some people here who are going to say, yeah, but how does that compare to an IMAX 2000 or a whatever? I don't know. Probably roughly at the same height. Probably not a lot in it, actually. But anyway, or the um, Antron 99. Probably about the same as Antron 99. Because this is, in effect, a centre... If we think about this, this is a centre-fed dipole. There's the coax coming in here. Now, it just so happens we've probably got a better match because these radials are, are coming out at an angle, aren't they, at 45 degrees-ish, not quite. So the centre of the coax is effectively, by the way, if you didn't notice, going straight up here. And the braid of the coax is effectively going to these radials, elevated radials. So we're getting into the VHF world. We, we really are. It's a quarter wave VHF antenna it's for hf so we'll build this for say 27 28 megahertz because there's a hand band at 28 and some of us some amateur radio operators use cb antennas for the 10 meters because they work fine why has my cross become enormous well, that, well whatever i don't know so i'll show you i mean you can follow along with this just download mmana-gal by the way it will be German. You'll have to go set up language and set English. That's, that's the only difference. Right? <laughs> Free download. M-M-A-N-A-G-A-L. You'll work it out. So I'm going to start with this button here. I'm going to go to my... Let me think about this. I want to look at the side of it. So we'll have um, X here, Z ahead of us. And I'm going to over, over spec it. I'm going to build it too big to start with so I can see what I'm doing. I'm just looking over the head. That's, that's 20 metres. That's far too big. Let's build it as a 10 metre. So this should tune actually on the 40 metre band. 
and I'll just get the zoom about right. So we've got two points there. Uh, I did a test earlier on. Hold on, I'll, I might shut up when I do this. Okay, that says 9.8. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rotate it. That's one big square and two small squares. Just gonna rotate this by 120 degrees and do the same thing again. So with any luck, there it is with 120 degree legs. This one here, we need to put a, some coax to, so wire one at the bottom or the base. I want to get little red dots there now. So this is far too enormous. So what I need to do is scale this to 0.25, a quarter of this. So that is now two and a half meters long. Now, we don't need to, to tune this. We don't need to change that length and all these lengths, okay? We just need to change this, oh, if I can draw an arrow, we just need to draw that length there, uh, change that length there, and that's what I'm gonna do. All right, so 2.5. I know for a fact it's gonna be, in software, about 2.7 meters long, and in reality, if you were building this, it would be about 2.65. But I'm gonna, well, if there's enough, uh, consensus on the channel here or if you're watching this i'll build this and put it up about six meters 16 15 16 meters high because i've got 18 minute 18 meter telescopic poles we call them the nebula 18 meters 2.7 this is going to be at 27 point i don't know 35 uh most of the people here let's it doesn't really matter let's let's go for 28 and a half and tell this it's actually 2.6 there we are 28 and a half, 16 meters, it's remembered that, good, copper wire, because I've built one before this. Start, SWR's 1.36 to one, I can go to SWR, hit the resonance button, 28 dead. All right, well, let's just have it at 28. 28 megahertz will be fine. So we're getting a perfect, almost a perfect match on SWR, but what does it look like, okay? So, if you've never seen a plot like this before on the left hand side this is it as if we're flying over as a bumblebee over the top and we can see the RF spreading out and on the right hand side as if we could slice through we're standing on the sidewalk or the pavement and we could physically see the RF we're taking a slice right through the middle I'll show you this in color in a minute and that we can hover our mouse you see and it will tell us various things there's a couple, if, you've, if you're new to the channel, you won't know that I very often baseline things, antennas that is, at five degrees off the horizon. So I'm concentrating on this bit at the top of this screen, which says 175 degrees. Now, any quarter wave vertical, as long as it's a quarter wave, so for sort of, of the 40 meter band, it would be about 10 meters long. I'm on the 10 meter band, about two and a half meters long, give or take. That number there would say, depending on the ground, that number there would say about minus five. Anywhere between about minus 4.6 to minus six, depending on the ground, the quality of the ground. We're elevating this up now and we've made our own ground with these three radials. And this is saying minus 2.9. So it's getting on for nine dB more than a ground mounted quarter wave. Now, if you followed my live stream this morning, we were doing 10 meter contacts. Now 9 dB is nearly 10 times the power. So my 200 watts, let's say, is the equivalent of um, on this antenna, is if I compared it to a straight vertical, it's not quite 10 times the power, but nearly. But it's like all of a sudden, if I from 200 watts on my vertical and I clicked to this one, which it says 2.9, not minus 2.9 or anything, it's, it's like me putting on a nearly a 2000 watt amplifier okay so the numbers don't sound a lot but every 3 db is doubling okay so this is a this is a substantial uh, difference and it's quite interesting and if i show you the 3d far field plot i have to do a couple of things here why can't i get oh uh, okay 
Um, this is it in uh, in far field, and I said it was showing it in colours. So you got got to remember that the if your line of sight, okay, you want the lowest you can get to the horizon. It'll be doing very well. It'll be doing very well indeed. Um, you know, but <laughs> I just want to imagine what this would be like on a 18 meter pole. You see, because I've got a funny feeling it's going to be 3 to 6 dB better than your average IMAX. And what's that going to cost us? Well, it's about 200 pounds for the pole, a bit of wire, all right? Because literally it's a bit of wire. Now, I could actually sell you the bits. I've worked it out. Just need a little bit of aluminium, a little bit of plastic to fit on that pole. And you could have one of these. Gigantic, by the way. 18 metres is huge, right? It's kind of getting on for 60 feet. And by the way, it's, you, it says here, by looking at this plot, what is happening underneath this, right? Now, we've got experience of this because a couple of years ago, Paul, Carl and I, we went up to the hills at 1500 feet and James copied us S9 we were running a V2000 which is a stacked a pair of two or three five eighths antennas for the two meter band 145 megahertz or so and uh, he said he copied us you know S9 the whole way from his house in basically Staffordshire all the way to some place about 50 miles away and when he got to the village underneath where we were we disappeared completely disappeared because the takeoff of things like this is such that underneath the antenna there's not much happening you probably won't so if you're too high sometimes you're better off just with a straight quarter wave because there's too much gain on things like this so anyway give us your thoughts if you want to dare me to build this and we'll have some fun my only problem is if i build this i won't be able to have a hf antenna for my regular Friday, so we'd have to just do 10 metres, all right. I did think of multi-banding this, all right, but that'd be difficult. The construction method, by the way, would be, if I've got the this this pole, which I'll do in blue, uh, we'll do it black. The construction method is, is basically these uh, blue pieces, I'd put a little egg connector on, they would just carry on down to ground. They would be the guys, all right. I put more guys in here just to hold because 18 meter telescopic pole is pretty um well wibbly wobbly i think is the is the answer before we go i think it'd be interesting to see what would happen if we change this to 14 megahertz the 20 meter band but we're going to have to change some things here because clearly that line there is now five meters high and if I've got a pole which is 17.5 meters long minus five meters the feed point's gonna have to be 12.5 meters to this point here where the ground is we'll have to add 12.5 maximum okay that's the height so it'd be interesting to see what sort of gain we could get 80 meter pole with a star duster is that what we called it Start something anyway on 20 meter band. Let's have a look. Minus five. Okay, there's three dB in it. I'd get another three dB, but I'd get another three dB all the way around. So you would need an enormous tower if you wanted to, you know. I mean, let's just have a bit of a laugh. You know, you've got a hundred foot tower, right? And you put one of these on the top. Well, it's going to do roughly the same as what we had a minute ago. It is 2.4 for the 20 meter band though. And I get out fine on 20 meters at minus five, whatever it is, DBI. Interesting though, isn't it? If you fancy me building it, let me know in the comments. If this has been any value at all, well, give me a thumbs up, whatever, who knows? Let's not sweat about that. Uh, the important thing is we've had a good time tonight or today rather. And it's my weekend now, so I'm going to shut down and I'll edit this another day. All right. In the meantime, from Callum here in the bunker, all the best now. Bye for now. Uh.